Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, triangle has been given to us as uh, 55 uh, square units. And the hypotenuse uh, AC length uh, is uh, 15 units. And moreover, this angle uh, ACB is being represented by X. And this is our 90 degree angle. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. We know the hypotenuse of this right triangle is 15 units. I'm going to label this perpendicular of this triangle as lowercase a and this base as lowercase b. And now let's recall the trigonometric ratio. Sine of theta is equal to opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And for this angle uh, x, uh, this side is going to be our opposite side, and this side is going to be our hypotenuse. So therefore, uh, sine of uh, x is going to be simply lowercase a divided by 15. And I'm going to multiply both sides by 15 to remove this uh, fraction. And here we can see this 15, and 15 is gone. So therefore, lowercase a value turns out to be 15 times sine of x. So therefore, our this uh, side length uh, lowercase a turns out to be 15 times uh, sine of x. And now let's recall another trigonometric ratio. Cosine of theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So therefore, for this uh, angle, uh, this side is going to be our adjacent and this is our hypotenuse. So therefore, uh, cosine of x is going to be equal to lowercase b divided by 15. And now I'm going to multiply both sides uh, by 15 to remove this uh, fraction. And here we can see 15 and 15 is gone. So therefore, uh, lowercase b value turns out to be 15 times uh, cosine of uh, x. So that's our uh, this uh, side length uh, lowercase b turns out to be equal to 15 times cosine of x. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times the base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, the base uh, of this uh, triangle is 15 times uh, cosine of x whereas the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, 15 times uh, sine of x. And moreover, the area of this triangle has been given to us uh, as 55. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So our area of the triangle is uh, 55 equals to a half times the base is 15 times cosine of x. And the height is uh, 15 times uh, sine of uh, x and now we are going to multiply out 15 times 15 is going to give us 225 so therefore we can write this whole thing 55 equals to 225 divided by 2 times we're going to multiply out uh, this one as uh, sine of x times uh, cosine of x and now I'm going to multiply the reciprocal of this uh, fraction. I'm going to multiply 2 divided by 225. And likewise, I'm going to multiply 2 divided by 225 on the right hand side as well. And here we can see this cancels out with this one, this one. So on the left hand side, uh, if we multiply this thing, uh, that is going to give us uh, 110 divided by 225 is going to be equal to sine of x times cosine of x. And now I am going to multiply both sides by 2. So therefore, this whole thing I can write that down first. 
we can write 2 times uh, sine of x uh, times cosine of x uh, equals to 220 divided by 225 and now we can see 220 divided by 225 reduces to 44 divided by 45 as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's recall this uh, famous uh, trigonometric identity sine of 2x is always equal to 2 times sine of x uh, times cosine of x we are going to apply this identity on the left hand side of this uh, equation so therefore uh, the left hand side uh, is going to become sine of uh, 2x uh, equals to 44 divided by 45 or we can write this thing uh, as uh, angle 2x is going to be equal to sine uh, inverse uh, of 44 divided by 45 and now we know that sine inverse of 44 divided by 45 is approximately equal to 77.9 degrees so therefore i can write this thing 2x angle is going to be approximately equal to 77.9 degrees and now I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, x. This 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, uh, our angle x value is going to be approximately equal to 38.95 degrees. So thus our angle x value turns out to be 38.95 degrees by using the very first method. And here's our alternative approach. And this uh, method, uh, I'm going to still uh, keep uh, B value as uh, 15 times the cosine of X uh, that we figured out uh, in our previous step. And we are going to leave this uh, lowercase uh, as it is. And now let's recall uh, another area of a triangle formula. Area of a triangle is equal to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle C, as you can see in this given triangle. Here our two side lengths are uh, A and B and C is the angle in between. So therefore uh, our two sides are going to be 15 times the uh, cosine of X and this other side is going to be 15 and X is going to be angle in between. And furthermore uh, the area of this triangle has been given to us as 55. So therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of triangle is 55 is going to be equal to a half times our one side length uh, is uh, 15 times the other side length uh, is uh, 15 uh, times uh, cosine of x times we are going to write down uh, sine of uh, our angle x and now we can uh, simplify this then we can write 55 equals to if we multiply these numbers, that's going to be 225 divided by 2 times uh, sine of x uh, times uh, cosine of x. And now I'm going to tweak this part uh, by just multiplying by 2 and divide by 2 at the very same time. So therefore, uh, we can write 225 uh, divided by 4 and this is going to become 2 times sine theta cosine theta. And now I'm going to multiply by its uh, reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply 4 divided by 225 and likewise 4 divided by 225 on the right hand side as well. So therefore this cancels out with this one. So therefore we got 220 divided by 225 turns out to be equal to 2 sine of x times cosine of x. And now we know that this uh, reduces to 44 divided by 45 as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall once again sine of 2x is always equal to 2 times sine of x times cosine of x. So therefore this left hand side could be written as uh, sine of uh, 2x uh, equals to 44 divided by 45. And that could be written as 2x uh, equal to sine uh, inverse of 44 divided by 45. 
and we know that sine inverse of 44 divided by 45 is approximately equal to 77.9 degrees so therefore we can write uh, 2x uh, is approximately equal to 77.9 degrees and if we divide both sides by 2 our angle x is going to be approximately equal to 38.95 degrees so thus our angle x value turns out to be approximately equal to 38.95 degrees uh, as well by using this second method thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye